Well, that was disappointing as hell. The most let down I've felt all year. So I just saw Afraid. Let's talk about it. Directed by Chris White, stars John Cho and Katherine Waterston. This is a horror sci-fi thriller about a family. It's mom, dad, two kids. Curtis, played by John Cho, works for what I believe is a marketing firm. And they have a new client. And their product is Aya. Aya is like a home AI system. John basically gets voluntold to test out this new AI system in his own home. He has a wife and three kids, an older daughter, two younger sons. And... I don't even know where to go after that. That should have gone straight to streaming. What an absolute waste of a theater. That was a lifetime movie without the thirst trap or the crazy ex-wife. The pacing and the flow would have been so much better if this had commercial breaks. That's how choppy this was. That was just dumb. Just an absolute waste of my time. I don't even know where to go from here. The acting is not too bad. I feel like that is the only silver lining here. Um, the acting is not terrible. I heard voices. You hear that, Sid? There's a man in the woods. Anyways, character development was just non-existent. I mean, the big thing here is the family unit. And, I mean, these types of movies are obvious social commentaries, right? And so the family unit plays a big part in that. But there is no unfolding or developing of the family. There is no chemistry of for them as a family unit. We don't see the sister interact with the brothers at all. There's an older sister and two younger brothers. We don't see this, those siblings. We don't see the siblings at all interacting with one another. And we very rarely see the parents interacting with... Is that a cat? Yeah, that was a cat. So yeah, there's no character development with respect to the family unit, even as them, even them as individuals. They're basically just five people living in the same house. And the plot is all over the place. So we have this extra scene at the very beginning with a family, and then we never revisit this family again. Obviously something happens with this family. It's a, a husband, wife, and a daughter named Amy. Amy goes missing. And this plot point obviously was important enough that it's the first thing that we see and interact with in this film. We even get a little jump scare. But we don't revisit this plot point until the very end. There was an opportunity to take this plot point and weave it into the middle, but the problem is there's no story. There is no plot. There is no narrative structure, rising and falling action. You know, they get the Aya system in their home. It's all cool. And things just go bad right away. There is no buildup or letdown. It's just from the jump, it's just bad. And it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be creepy on purpose, but I, I can kind of see where our writer slash director was going, because he wrote and directed, was going with trying to make this into a commentary, just not just about just the rise of AI and how it's kept us disconnected from one another, but also just the dangers of too much screen time for young children and um, just how influential social media can be. This movie was super short. I mean, there are Disney movies longer than this. Not even 90 minutes. But I've seen short films that pack a bigger punch. There was just no plot. I don't know what was the point. There was no point to this. Paycheck? Tax write-off? This director, I knew his name sounded familiar. So Chris Weitz, Weitz, I'm not exactly sure how he pronounces his last name, but he was a director. He directed The Golden Compass. He also directed um, New Moon, the second Twilight movie. He was a screenwriter for the creator. I thought that movie was just, I thought the biggest problem with that movie, number one was just the lead actor. I don't think he's a very good actor. He's Denzel Washington's son. I just don't think he's a very talented actor. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's found his groove yet, but the writing was also a big letdown for me for that movie. And so this tracks. That was just so bad. It was bad. I mean, I've seen some bad movies this year, but this was just a complete disappointment. And I've been disappointed many times this year, but this was a complete disappointment because there was an opportunity here to create something very intelligent, but somebody just wasn't smart enough. I guess I can add it to my list. Great idea, poor execution. The best part of the movie were the 20 minutes of trailers that preceded it, which is crazy for me to say because I've seen them all a thousand times.